on the water has been brought to you by Okay, we have Peter McGrath or Mudguard, driver and crew chief of AFT Offshore Powerboat. Peter, welcome, or Mudguard rather, sorry, welcome to On The Water. Yes, yeah, good to be here. Now tell us a little bit about these boats. Oh, well basically they're um, probably one of the biggest boats that they race offshore with, uh, with petrol and diesel engines. Uh, depending on the conditions they can be very exciting. Well, I've had a look at them testing here today and they go fairly quick. How does it go uh, with the relationship between the driver and the throttle man and which are you? Oh, I'm actually a throttle man uh, at this stage. Uh, that's my happy seat. Um, but normally I run with uh, Bill Barry Cotter, which I drive for him. Magnificent. Now the relationship between the two, I reckon it's got to be pretty special. You have to really know one another and know the boat. Uh, it's very important. Uh, I. Um, I enjoy it because I steer and throttle so I know exactly what each person's going through and it's a very close relationship. Um, the guy on the steering wheel has got a very important job because he feels a very different sensation in that side than I feel throttling the thing. Um, I can drive it extremely hard but we come to a corner and if he thinks he can't get it around the corner or the boat's on the verge of spinning or whatever, um, I've got to pick that up very quickly on, on how he's positioning the wheel. And, and just the way the boat's feeling as well. So. Right, and so then back off the throttle, obviously. Yes, it's a, uh, with our style of boat, it has a rudder um, that hangs over the back. Now, when you turn that rudder, it actually pulls the bow down and makes the, want, the boat want to oversteer. So it wants to spin. So as he applies a bit of rudder, I have to apply a bit of acceleration to keep the bow up. And it's a very close, close thing. It sounds, uh, sounds a fair bit tricky. Now, obviously, uh, these things will go guts up from time to time, Mudguard, and it's, that's going to be fairly spectacular, if not terrifying. Now, what sort of safety measure in place should that happen, and let's hope it doesn't? We have uh, escape hatches uh, in the roof, uh, in the floor. Uh, we have oxygen supply, and uh, this weekend we might be trying something that's not new, but it's, it's more of a fighter uh, pilot uh, helmet with an oxygen mast, which if it's submerged, immediately goes to an oxygen supply. Well, I'll tell you what, the technology, uh, well, uh, as you said, it's not new, but uh, trying something new, the safety for your drivers and your crew are obviously paramount. Uh, obviously, you're wearing life jackets. What other sort of things do you have? Do you have a radio at all? Uh, we have uh, radio contact uh, between each other as an intercom. We have uh, radio contact to the base and we also have telephone in and out as well. Uh, we have a helicopter which shouldn't be far away as well. So. What kind of motors you got on the back of it? Um, on on uh, the boat that I'm running at the moment I'm running two uh, 8 litre V12 petrol Lamborghinis. Uh, they develop uh, around 2,000 horsepower in total and will rev to uh, 9,000 RPM. What kind of fuel are you using? Uh, the Lamborghinis are restricted to intake uh, hole is a 62 mil hole and we have to run the same fuel you run out of your car. Not bad. I'll tell you Mudguard, thanks very much for having us on the water. Thank you. Cheers mate. Bye. Here we are with Steve Sill from Acme Racing. Steve, how did it go out there today? Oh, it was a pretty interesting day. One, Probably the fastest race they've had in Australia. Uh, 125 knots, which is about 144 mile an hour. And I think the average was about 130. Geez, I'll tell you what, that's a bit of bum clenching stuff really, isn't it? Well, the few swallows disappear from time to time, I can tell you. <laughs> but um, no, the boat went well. It's the first time with these Mercury uh, high-performance uh, supercharged engines, and yep. they ran faultlessly. And uh, we're pretty happy to get a nice finish like we did. Fantastic. Now, um, you guys hail from the Gold Coast. You obviously follow the circuit around. You're amongst the non-professional teams in this kind of outfit. Yep. We've, I've been doing this non-professionally for about 30 years. 30 years and you don't have a budget, you're scraping together each and every week to get it on the track? Well, not quite as bad as that, but, you know, no, we don't have any sponsors and uh, we do it all ourselves. We don't employ anybody. It's just the thing we do during the week and on weekends. I'll tell you, not a bad thing to be doing on just on weekends. You don't need a co-driver, do you? I mate, I don't think you've got the kahunas to go with it. Well, there's only <laughs> one way to find out, Steve. <laughs> Mate, you're welcome to come. We're up at Geelong in two weeks' time. You're welcome to come along. No worries, Steve. Thanks very much for being on the wall. Pleasure. 
Okay, we've got Bill Barry Cotter from Maritime Offshore Racing. Good start to the season, mate. It was a good start. Um, you yeah, know, fairly sort of tricky race, but um, it was okay. What was your top speed out there today? Uh, probably 148, something like that, miles per hour. So, um, Jeez, I'll tell you what, that's going all right. Now, 11 laps, pretty, uh, pretty long course today. It was. It was a long course. Uh, we had a few problems. We had a, uh, our trim computer go down, so we had no vision of uh, what we could do. And we had our GPS go down. So one lap there, we gave all the spectators a bit of a thrill. We finished up on the outside of the spectator fleet, but uh, <laughs> I think that woke them up anyway, so they enjoyed it. Oh, well, it's all part yeah. of the action, <laughs> isn't it? So it I'll tell is. you what, you've had a few problems, but as I said, a great start of the season. Yep. Port Phillip Bay, magnificent spot to do one of these races. It is, great spot. Um, yeah, it was. A, it's a great spot to have a race, and um, yeah, we we'll look very forward to going to Geelong next week. So uh, that'll be another good one. No worries. Thanks no worries. for your time, mate. We'll see you around the traps. Thanks, Thanks go, man. See, go see you next time. Good, good on you. Good, good on you. All right, here we are with Tony Lowe, Australian offshore power boats. He's with Smorgan Steel. Tony, you didn't have a great deal, uh, great day out in the water there. What happened? Uh, well, first of all, our um, our engine management system plans didn't quite go to where we wanted them to go. We didn't have the right fuel mixtures and that's just a time thing that we actually ran out of. When we finally got up the plane and uh, got it cracking, um, we developed a, uh, a vibration in the drivetrain in, in, um, on one side so we decided that um, it'd be a good idea to pull the pin for today and make sure we've got it sorted for the, uh, the next round on the 12th of February at Geelong. Down at Geelong, no worries. Mm. Tony, thanks very much for your time. All the best for the rest of the season and uh, hope it goes well for you. Thanks very much and I'm glad to see that you're going to follow the good sport and it'll be terrific. We're going to show you some really exciting stuff this year, uh, so be watching. Spine tingling stuff on the offshore power boats. Check out your screen to see what's happening for the rest of the series. Get up there, get involved. It's a great thing. These blokes throw a lot of money at it. Get out there and support them. Okay, here we are with Anthony Defina of Thicon Racing. Anthony, you're also the secretary of the Australian Offshore Power Boat Club. Welcome to On The Water. Thanks, Kofu. Now, tell us a little bit about this little beauty. Uh, this is a 24-foot monohull that we built ourselves. It's powered by a 300 horsepower Mercury outboard, which is the most powerful outboard you can get. It does about 80 miles an hour, 82 miles an hour flat out. Uh, we won the Australian Championship in it last year, and we're hoping to go on and, and win again this year. Magnificent. Now the first race off the blocks is down here at the Docklands. Yeah, it's down at Docklands. It's going to be a fantastic weekend. Uh, we launched from the Docklands area and then come out here and, and race between Port Melbourne and St Kilda. Brilliant. And you've got it nice and close inshore so that all the viewers can sit down there and, and get real close to the action. Yeah, look, anywhere along uh, from Port Melbourne to, to St Kilda, people will see the race and they'll see the boats and they'll be jumping around and you know, we hope to give you a good shot. Brilliant. Now tell us about this uh, driver throttleman. I'm sure that the bloke who points it, or the guy who's behind the uh, steering wheel, reckons he's the best bloke and most important in the boat. I know you're the throttle man. You're probably going to tell me you're the most important bloke in the boat. Oh, look, no, I'll be be diplomatic, it's a team effort obviously, you've got to, you've got to get round the course so that the guy steering is pretty important, but the throttle and trim is, is what determines how fast the boat goes and it's, uh, you've got to concentrate the whole time, they're jumping in and out of the water and you've got to be on and off the throttle, otherwise the engine will rev out and uh, destroy your engine. So, so you need to be able to get the timing right, because I imagine if the nose of the boat's coming up and you're punching the throttle down. Yeah, look, uh, the worst thing you can probably do in, in offshore racing is what we call a trip, where the back of the boat comes down and flicks the nose into the water and you basically turn into a submarine, so it's, it's not a fun thing to do. Well then you're not actually offshore power boat racing, you're sort of offshore submarine, submarine yeah. planning. Yeah, well that, that's definitely not not on the cards, is it? It's not. <laughs> right, one more question, mate. Can I have a go? Oh, okay, man, you look like a trustworthy bloke, I'll let you have a drive. <laughs> yes, that first bloke in the world who ever reckoned I look trustworthy. Anthony Defina, I'll see you in your boat. Good on you, okay, man. <laughs>
on the water. Wicked. Thanks very much to Anthony Defina. I thought I'd let him drive his boat up onto the trailer. Oh, I want one of these. <laughs> you should have a crack, really. This is awesome. On the Water has been brought to you by